Hello Year 4, I hope everyone's well, I hope you've been enjoying the sunshine. Uh, I want to say a huge thank you uh, on behalf of all the teachers for everyone who's been sending in posters about critical workers to say thank you, such as the NHS. Mr Parsons is working really hard to put those uh, posters together uh, as a type of slideshow this weekend, so please check out the school YouTube channel next week to see those. And again, well done to everyone that, that uh, took part in that. Thank you to all the children who have been uh, contacting their teachers uh, with work and activities. Uh, we love hearing from you. And in particular in Peacock, I want to give a huge shout out to Evie, Holly and Phoebe who have all uh, particularly sent me some fantastic things this week. Times Table Rockstar Results. Lots of you worked really hard this week, so thank you very much. And I have to say, for year four, there has been some payoff. Potter versus Brownlee. Last time Potter won, this time it was Brownlee. Come on, year four. Unfortunately, Moore did pip Adlington to the post this time, and Sharman did still beat Peacock. But I was very impressed with all the people that took part. And uh, a huge well done as well to the uh, children who came first, second and third as um, most valuable players in their class. There is a new rematch this week. Year four girls against year four boys. Last time, I have to say the girls pretty much destroyed the boys. So uh, being a boy myself, come on boys, don't let us down. Let's be winning it this week. So uh, that will start as per usual on Monday at nine o'clock and it will finish on the Friday at 3.15. If I haven't said already, come on you boys in year four. Now, I'm very excited next week. One of my huge passions is history. And we're not gonna give you the usual timetable this week. Uh, of um, maths and English and science and art. Instead, what we'd like you to do this week, which would have effectively been your half term week, is just to try and spend some time finding out about the Vikings and producing a short or, or small Viking project. When you log on to the website, you'll be able to access the details for the Viking uh, project. We've given you some questions to think about. Uh, in particular, we want you to focus on the Vikings in Britain. So these are the sort of questions you might want to consider. Where did the Vikings come from? How did they travel to Britain? Why did they come to Britain? Where did they settle in Britain? What was Dane law? What famous battles did the Vikings have? How did they live? What did they eat and drink? And as you scroll down, there is some uh, web links. If you click on them, uh, there's some uh, from the BBC that include videos. There is also a really nice uh, Viking homework play uh, page, which has got all sorts of links on there, plus other pages. I've even managed to find a short, horrible histories video clip for you to have a look at. If I scroll down further, it gives you some ideas how you might want to present your Viking project. You could actually do a video. Teachers have been filming videos. We'd love to see a video from yourself talking about what you've found out in a kind of almost like um, historical documentary. Equally, you could do a PowerPoint, you could do a poster, or perhaps you've even got some more creative ways that you could come up with that uh, you would like to present your findings. Either way, if you, by the end of the Friday of next week, could submit and send your photos of your work to your teachers, uh, then um, we can obviously enjoy looking at those. Um, so I hope that's something that you really enjoy. I have included uh, a spring activity book. Um, 
based on maths, because I know lots of people do enjoy kind of colouring and, and quite kind of low key activities uh, for a kind of half term type week. This involves some colouring where you're going to have to just uh, see if you can remember your Roman numerals from year three. I'm sure you can look on Google um, if you can't remember uh, your Roman numerals. There's a maze to complete, working on your six times table. There's some multiplication colouring. There's a code to crack and there's a few other activities on there as well. So, as I said before, the, the main thing that we would love all of you to get involved with is the Viking project. So this is just time for me to say, come on year four, send us those Viking projects. Arrgh!